Hey there everyone, um, let us quickly solve a question of rank correlation with ties. Yes, that means if there are tie position, right? The ranks of the individual, same ranks for different individuals. So uh, let us have a look at the question. So we are given salesmen. How many salesmen are we are given? We are given 10 salesmen, right? And uh, we are given their test scores and sales scores okay i mean scales and test scores so we have to find out the relation between their test scores and the sales that is basically intelligence and efficiency in salesmanship sales means how much they're efficient to sell make the money and intelligence is according to the exam they have given and the scores so we have to find out if there is any relation now first let us look at this uh, at the rank at the numbers okay and then try to figure out if there are any ties among the ranks so here we can see that uh, test scores of these 10 salesmen there are three salesmen with same marks that is 60 60 60 correct and also there are four salesmen with 50 50, 50, 50 and 50, okay. And these are 60, 60, 60. So, test scores, there are two marks that has been repeated. That is 50 is repeated four times. So, there are four times of 50 each and 60 marks is scored by three individuals. So, there are two ties. Now, uh, in this sales, let's see if they have made same amount of money. We can see, yes, 45, 45, 45 and 45. So, there are three individuals with same amount of sales. Anything else? Yes, 30 is also there. As you can see, it's very clear. 30 and 30. So, there are total four ties in this given question let us write down the ties right so there are four ties number one test scores that is how many three individuals with 60 three individuals with 60 and four individuals with 50 so these are the two ties that we have got right and what about the next one that is sales here also there are two tie, uh, ties that is two individuals with 30 and three individuals with 45 so these are the ties so what are the ranks for these so we take the average right so first let us have a look at the let us clean this up for our ease of marking the ranks so if we try to rank them then we can see that um, which is the highest test score here that is 90 so this is one Okay, next one is 80. 
two. Then there is seventy. Then there is sixty. So sixty is basically see four, four, four. So I cannot write down. So what we do is we take the average of the ranks, right? So. Ninth, tenth, and let's say this is four, five, six, like that. So we are going to take the average of four plus five plus six. So that is our one, two, three, four. Fourth individual, ninth individual, and tenth individual. So their average rank that we will use is. So that is it starts with the fourth one. So four, five, six. So four plus five plus six divided by three. So the rank is um, four plus five nine, nine and six fifteen. So fifteen by three. So we will assign them each with five. Okay. Now next. So after sixty is fifty. So we will uh, say this is seven. Again we have this. So eight, nine, ten. So this again we are going to take the average of these four and assign them the ranks. So that is basically seven plus eight plus nine plus ten divided by four. So for these four individuals, the rank will be average rank for individual one, three, six, eight. So the ranks are seven plus eight plus nine plus ten divided by four. So that is seven plus eight is fifteen. Fifteen and ten is twenty-five. Twenty-five and nine is twenty-four. Um, seven plus eight is fifteen. Twenty-five, twenty-four, right? So this is six. So the average rank assigned will be six, and here. Five. So eight of the individuals will be assigned the ranks as five and six, the average rank, and the remaining as per their scores that they have scored. So we have got it for the test score. Now what about for the sales? Let us have a look. The highest sales revenue collected is sixty. So this is one. After sixty, there is fifty. So this sorry. This is two. Fifty-five is two. Fifty is three. Then we have forty-five. That is this. Four. Say five. Say six. So that means for this the average rank will be. I'm doing it here only. That is four plus five plus six by three. That is is equals to. Four plus five nine nine plus six fifteen by three. So this is five again. So this is the one actually with the value forty five. And for the two individuals with thirty, so what is the next one after forty five? The score is yes. So this is seven, and this is eight. So for this, the average score is seven plus eight by two, right? So that is basically fifteen by two. So fifteen by two is seven point That's it for the average ranks, right? Okay. So after that, now we have 
25 so that is 9 and 20 is 10 so we have our ranks now what we want to do since now we have our assigned ranks so all the ties will be given their average ranks that we have calculated as 5 6 right 7.5 and so on and the remaining will be given their original rank so let us form a table So, uh, number 1 is 90, then 80. Okay, and all the repetitions, we can write down the repetitions here, right? First, let us write down all the rank with ties, that is the average rank. So, for 50, we have got 4 individuals with 50, right? Um, that is 150. Okay, here, uh, sorry, this should be 34, right? Then this should be 8.5. So the average rank is 8.5 for those who have scored 50. So let us write down 8.5. Wherever we have 50, their average rank is 8.5, 8.5. Um, where else, where else? 8.5 and 8.5. Perfect. And wherever, so 50, 50, 50, 54. And what else? 60, 60, 60. In place of 60, their average rank that we have calculated. Um, here is 4, 5, 6. So we have got it as 15 by 3. So 5. So let us write down 5 in place of 60 is the average rank. Right? So what else we are left with? We are left with the rank of those who have scored 70. So let us see what was the rank. We have written it here. And that is 3. So here are the rank of the test scores. Now let us write down the rank for the um, sales. So again we know that here we have repetition. So let's have a look at the repeated values. We have. 30, 30, okay, two individuals with 30. So, let us see the average value that we have calculated. It is 7.5. Another one is 55. In place of 30, we will write down 7.5 and 7.5. And other repeated values are 45, 45, 45. And the average value that we have got is 5, 5 and 5. So, these are the average ranks. Now, let us write down the rank for the remaining. So, we know 60 was the highest rank. So, this is 1 after 60. Uh, that is 55, that is 2. After 55, we have got 50 and 20. So let us check the rank for 25, 20 and 50. 25 is 9, 9, 3 and 2. Let us write down the ranks. 9, 3 and 2. Right, 55 is, uh, so this is 10, sorry, yes. So we have got the values, 9, 3, and uh, 20 is the lowest score, so the 10th rank. So we have got the rank of test score, that is X, and the rank of uh, sales, that is Y. Now D is our X minus Y, so let us uh, take the subtraction, that is the gap. 8.5 minus 9 is minus 1.5. 3 minus 1 is 2. 8.5 minus 5 is 3.5. 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 minus 5 is minus 3, 8.5 minus 10 is your minus 
1 minus 2 is minus 1, 8.5 minus 7.5, 1550, 5, and this is minus 2.5. So if we add this column, these values, we will get summation d is equals to 0. Now next we are going to find out d square that is square these values. So minus 1.5 is um, 2.25, 4, 12.25, 4, 9, 6.25, 1, 1, 0, uh, can it's 2.5 so it's 6.25, okay. So after summing this column, we will get summation d square is equals to as you can see 6.5 6.5 is basically your 12.5 12.5 and 9 becomes your 21.5 so this is 25.5 and so on so this after calculation you will get your um, summation d square here as 40 now in this case, our spare, uh, our rank correlation is R square is equals to one minus six summation D square plus summation T cube minus T by twelve whole to the power n cube minus n cube. That means I need to find out this value that is the tau value that is t cube minus t by 12 right t are the ranks. So let us just calculate first this value. Right. What are the uh, different ties? Let us go back and check. So we have, how many number of ties we have? We have, let us write down, we have four ties. Okay. One tie of four individuals. Two ties of three individuals. And one tie of two individuals that is uh, we have got four individuals with same ties two uh, three individuals with two different ties and again two individuals with one so we have four right so the individuals are four two times three and two so how we are going to write first for the four so this is four cube minus four by twelve summation answer so plus so this is three Two times we are going to write down that is 3 cube minus 3 by 12 plus 3 cube minus 3 by 12 and last one is one tie of two individuals so that is 2 cube minus 3 by 12 okay so after calculating this we get so as we calculate this we will get 64 minus 4 that is 60 by 12 plus 3 cube is 27 minus 3 so that is 24 by 12 plus 24 by 12 plus this is 8 minus 2 so this is 5 by 12 so this is 5 plus 2 and this is if I'm right this is 2 cube so this is 8 right this is minus 2 sorry 8 minus 2 is 6 by 12 yes so this is 6 by 12 is 1 by 2 so that is 0 0.5 so that means the value of tau that is the ties that we have got is
5 plus 4 9 so this is 9.5 so we have got it so therefore r is equals to 1 minus 6 summation d square plus summation t cube minus t by 12 whole to the power n cube minus n is equals to 1 minus 6 summation d square is 40 plus this we have got is 9.5 divided by 10 cube minus 10. So after solving this we will get 0 0.71. So this is very clear from the answer that the test score that is the intelligence and the sales revenue that collected by the salesman that is the effort so efficiency so both are positively correlated and quite strongly correlated almost 70 percent so that is the answer.